can't see, bro. All right, y'all, listen, man. We back here with another reaction video. I haven't done one of these in a long time. Don't mind the hair. I'm about to get my hair done today, so that's why it's out. And I know y'all see the beanie. Gotta represent my man, John Morant. Feel me? Uh, today we got a video of Jimmy High Roller. It's called We've All Been Fooled. I wanted to react to a couple one of his videos before, but I never had the time, but now I do have the time. I'm pre-recording a couple videos for my trip for when I go to Boston for the weekend, so I'm not as inactive. Um, we got three videos coming, and hopefully they're all bangers, you know what I'm saying? I'm probably going to record uh, my All-Star Reserves ballot. I have to do that. I have to talk about all the Western Conference teams because I did with all the Eastern Conference teams. And I'm about to make this video, and this should go up today, so expect that. Um, but I don't waste no more time. Let's get straight into this video. The triple double stat line is synonymous with a great performance. When a player puts up a triple double, the stat line tends to make more headlines than the actual game itself. Facts. But with each and every NBA season, the once fleeting triple double has become more and more common. The stat line the is almost I'm about to put casual on my at this point. No more rare than a 30 point game. Really and because it. of this, the triple double has lost its this. once this legendary Starbucks status. Players Shy are now chasing the latte. stat line, Good putting their box Good score I heard above the actual success of their team. Disregarding the win loss Job. column and focusing solely on the points, rebounds, and assists column. At least that's what some fans think. The main perpetrator being Russell Westbrook. Oh, His here. methods to piling up wild stat lines often look more like a gimmick than anything else. But does that make the triple double itself a gimmick? A charade of a stat line disguising itself as a great all around game? Or is the triple double still the gold standard for a great game of basketball? Well, there's only one way to find out. I mean, out. I think here's how I here's how I view it. Here's how I view it. So triple doubles are obviously a good thing, but I do not think that they always symbolize a good game because though sometimes when Russell Westbrook records triple doubles, they look very, very sloppy. You know what I'm saying? He has those good triple doubles and then he has those triple doubles where he just like squeaked them out and they look very sloppy. That's what I mean by like, sometimes triple doubles aren't all that, you feel me? But let's Today's see what he video thinks. Is brought to you by SeatGeek. SeatGeek, okay, buddy. Come back you get your bills, you get your money, but first order. I'm not. Uh, no, no, no. The first recorded okay. triple double in the video. history occurred on December 14th, 1950, over 70 years ago, and it was accomplished by a player named Andy Phillip, who racked up 17 points, 10 assists, and 10 rebounds. Okay. Now I say this is the first recorded triple double because prior to the 1950 season, the NBA just didn't keep track of rebounds and assists the majority of the time. It's like they just said, screw it. Who needs any of those arbitrary numbers anyways? Nowadays, the NBA could give you comprehensive play-by-play -play data on how often a player ties his damn shoes. Because numbers give us a great insight into the smaller well, nuances sure. of the game. In huh? the case of Andy Phillip, his numbers told us that he was a great player that could just about do it all on the court. Okay. Numbers don't lie. But Facts. in the wrong context, they do a really good job of skewing the truth. And over the last few seasons, the narrative around the triple-double stat line has been twisted and butchered so bad that most fans have been led to believe that the stat line is nothing more than a stat-padding facade. That That's not true. double has lost its value. I'm sure we've all heard this skepticism at some point. And your friendly neighborhood old head isn't completely wrong. The stat line is far more common now than it used to be. Kyle Lowry has more career triple-doubles than Scottie Pippen. Luka Doncic hasn't even played four full seasons in the NBA, and he already has far more triple doubles than Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. And if that isn't crazy, but enough, I mean, Alfred Payton has more career triple doubles up. than Kevin Garnett and Akeem Olajuwon. And we okay, that's gotta be bullshit. Second off, um, the thing is, the NBA is getting so much better. I'm gonna talk about this in my All Star Reserves video because there's a lot of snubs, but. The NBA is getting so much better and so more talent is coming into the NBA that this was bound to happen. I mean, I'm just saying it's happened with the three point shot and all that stuff. So, I mean, it's kind of bound to happen. You feel me? You can thank Russell Westbrook for the rise of the triple double. Yeah, I was going to say, the Russ, is, pile up a bloated stat Russ is the reason why, just, why people are saying this shit. It's incredible. Back in 2017, Russ did the impossible by becoming the first player in over 50 years to average a triple-double for an entire season. 
Now, prior to that historic season, the NBA would usually float between 30 and 40 triple doubles a season. The one game That's I can say was probably NBA like stat padded was the 2020 game. After Russ's for 2017 Nipsey. campaign, the league has seen a massive spike in triple doubles. Oddly enough, Russ's impact on the triple double falls right in line with Stephen Curry's impact on the three pointer. The Zach Lowe's talking about. Bro. Hey y'all, I know y'all ain't gonna see this. In other words, Westbrook is to the triple double what Stephen Curry is to the three pointer. But triple doubles and three pointers are like, extremely different, different from things, one another. Yeah. Anyone can jack up more threes every game. Although fire. most players probably shouldn't. Seven, se oh my goodness. But not every player can go out and just pile up double digit assists and double digit rebounds on a good scoring night. Not making a damn mess right now. Can they? On October 28th, 1979, a new record was set for the youngest player to achieve a triple double in an NBA game. The kid was only 20 Mr. years Irvin. and 75 days old, and his name was Irvin, but you probably know him by his nickname, Magic. Magic. And Magic's record stood for a long time, until 20 years later when Lamar Odom recorded a triple-double at just 20 years and 54 Lamar years Odom. Old. Lamar's record would stand for no, six seasons go. until LeBron James broke it at white. the age of 20 years and 20 days. LeBron's record would eventually fall 11 years later. Mm. When I was just talking about this. It feels like every single damn year, this record gets broken. I remember Luca broke this record like three times. He broke his own record like three times, bro. And then, like, Luca became like the, the, the first, and then the fourth, and then the third youngest player to record a triple double. And then every single year after that, this record has been broken. They got just about broken by Josh Giddy. Bro, this record loves getting broke. ...of 20 years and 15 days old. But Lonzo's record would fall just five months later when Markel Fultz became the first Mark teenager Ford, my to record a triple-double in the NBA. At this point, my the record should stand for a very long time. I mean, how many teams can record a triple-double? Never mind. LaMelo Ball broke the record just a few seasons later yep. at just 19 years and 140 days old. And since the and guess who broke it next? draft players straight out of high school anymore, I really doubted this record would fall any time soon. <laughs> I stand See what I'm correct. saying? What was once a stat line reserved for only the most well-rounded elite players has become an achievable milestone for a teenager who just last year had a scouting report that looked like this. And as the age That's of the guy. youngest triple I've double I've been preaching Josh Giddy since, fall, since before the, the draft. That's doubles, my guy. ...continues to rise. Eight of the top 16 One of my guys. leaders in triple doubles are currently in the NBA. Damn. So, is the triple double really a dead stat line? A relic of the NBA that has eh. lost its value over the years? The short answer is, value. is no. The triple double is still an incredible stat line that, for the most part, still represents great overall winning basketball. But the long answer is a lot more complicated than that. Russell Westbrook has taken a lot of heat for the fall. I felt this loss of value just His a little bit, but it's still there. Overanalyzed and overcriticized. And I'm here to tell you, if you think Russ's triple doubles are empty stats that don't contribute to winning basketball, we are weird. Seventy percent of his wins, literally, when he when he records a triple double, he has racked up 157 triple doubles. And in those 157 games, 57 percent win rate. That's not bad. 111 and 46, a 71 percent winning percentage over a six season span. That's equivalent to nearly 60 wins over the course of a season. Which means that when Russ gets a triple Don't double, even stop his team on is Russ, elevated bro. to that of a near 60 win squad. And this team success doesn't just apply to one team. This is an effect that Russ has on every single team he's played on. From the Thunder, to the Rockets, to the Wizards, and now the Lakers. Russell Westbrook's teams win more often when he Gosh. gets a triple-double. At times, That's what I'm saying, he literally contributes staggering. to winning basketball. In People saying he's that bad and shit. the Thunder won just 57% of their games. In the games where Russell Westbrook achieved a triple-double, the Thunder's winning percentage jumped to 81%. Damn. Last season, the Wizards won just 46% of their games when Russell Oh, is that when he doesn't record triple-double and then when he does? In the games where Russ did get a triple-double, the Wizards won 61% of their games. Dang. That's the difference between a 37-win team and a 50-win team. 
Overall, and y'all need to stop hitting on the boy, bro, because he's really showing y'all stature right now. Of their games. He's really he showing y'all stature right now. That winning percentage jumps all the way up to 71%. Russ's triple doubles are definitively a good thing for him and his team. And fans will often say, if Russ just kept his turnovers down, made better decisions, and took care of the ball, He'd have more his room. team would be in better positions. Assuming that the bad sure. that comes with the turnovers outweighs the good of the triple double. No. And again, no. This... See, that's why I disagree. That's why I disagree. The thing is, if this man would stop turning over the ball, their team would be better, and he might even have more triple doubles. The thing is, is that his turnover rate is so fucking high, bro. The man's averaging like five to damn six turnovers a game. That is horrible. Especially being the good playmaker that he is, he should not be having that many. He should not be having that many uh, turnovers. I fuck with Russ, but bro, come Isn't on. It's exactly true because over the last six seasons in games where Russ has less than four turnovers, his team's record is 62 and 45, a winning percentage of just 58 percent, which is still positive. Which is almost exactly the same as his team's overall record over that same time span. Mm. So hey, he bringing out stacks. He proved me wrong right now. He's bringing out stacks. Bringing out stacks. Minimum actually doesn't make much difference to his team's success. Sounds impossibly odd. But it's true. Meanwhile, the triple double drives his team to vastly more success than without it. In the case of Russell Westbrook, a triple double is far more valuable than a low turnover game. And it's Aye. not even close. True. But the Russell Westbrook triple true. double rabbit hole goes even deeper. Since 2017, Russ has recorded 34 40 plus point games. And in those 34 games, his team went 19 and 15. A Damn! So his triple doubles are really it. His triple doubles are really it. This is his game. More. His team's success virtually doesn't change at all. So that wow, I that didn't know that. Turnover games and high scoring games are both far less valuable to Russ and his teams than the triple double is. I didn't not know that. only is the triple double not an empty stat line, the triple not. double is quite literally the best thing Russell Westbrook can do for his team. In fact, generally speaking, the triple double is one of the best things a player can achieve for his team across the league. These are the league leaders in triple doubles. Okay, since let me see this. Let me see this. Jokic 79%, Giannis 86%. Oh my god. LeBron 75, Harden 78, Lucas 61. They all go up. They all go up. Hey. 2017 season. Hey, he bringing out heat right now. Jimmy High Roller bringing out heat right now. Whenever they get a triple double. I think triple doubles have gotten a bad rap in the same way that three pointers have. If a player knocks down, let's say, eight threes in a game, fans expect that player's team to win. But sometimes that's just not the case. An individual player can do everything in his power to get a victory for his team, but other factors can prevent that from happening. True. And this applies with triple doubles. People expect that a massive stat line in the form of a triple double must equate Jaylen to Jalen Brown has got his first the numbers triple were double. Empty or the player was just padding his stats. But that's just not how the game Robert works. Williams got a now, I know this is a difficult concept for some to understand, but a player can have a great game and his team can still lose. True, it happens all crazy, the time. Right? A triple double I don't know why people think that happens literally all the time. time. Trey Young just had a 56 point game and literally lost. Than not. Even in the case of Russell Westbrook. Over the last five seasons, there have been 534 triple doubles recorded across the NBA. Damn. Out of those 534 games, How the many? player with the triple double won 375 of them. Now, how's that for empty stats? Holy shit. Yo, he's not gonna end the video. Oh, man. He different. That was Jimmy High Rollers. We've all been fooled, bro. And trust me when I say this, that man took me through a loop through the whole entire video. He just kept hitting me with stats and stats and stats and stats. And, bro. They're right there. The numbers do not lie, bro. The numbers don't lie. I was coming into this video thinking like triple doubles are like, eh. I mean, they've they they're still there and they're still good. But I mean, they've kind of lost their value a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because everyone's recording triple doubles. It doesn't look like it's like a valuable thing anymore. Like it's not like a cool thing where that uh, triple doubles exist. Same thing with like threes. I mean, it's the same thing. But, like, triple doubles contribute to winning basketball. I mean, there's no way around it. After him showing me those stats, I don't know how you argue with that, basically.
But I'm about to get out of here. I got a couple other videos to film. And this one right here, this one was a good ass video. I'm not gonna lie. That shit had me. I was all over the place. That shit had me thinking, bro. That had me thinking, thinking. But I'm about to get out of here. I'll see y'all later. I'm out to spit.